Welcome back. All right, so we're getting close to the end of the season. Also, uh, 192,000 subscribers. Uh, that number is being passed today. So, yeah, it's it's a lot of people. So I wanted to talk about the plan for this this year's off season because every off season, the question will come usually from newer subscribers. So what what's he going to do during the off season? There's a lot to talk about in the off season. Keep in mind that this year's off season is about a month shorter than usual, and in between the the league being paused in March last year and coming back. I had five months I had to fill with videos. The idea of, hey, so there's two months this year, that's that's much easier. Uh, and I say two months because after the Stanley Cup's awarded, which is supposed to be middle of July, right? You're still going to have the draft, free agency, expansion. Not in that order, obviously. So you've got all these things coming through, and then, of course, there's going to be a lot of trades. So there's going to be a lot of videos that are going to get filled with that automatically. That's all stuff that happens organically. I don't have to worry about coming up with playlists for that. This is what we're going to see. But I may do, like, profiles on some of the players for Seattle. I may get further into what Seattle picks up in this year's expansion draft than I did with Vegas. Because at the time, we kind of looked at Vegas' roster and went, well, I don't know, we'll see if they finish higher than last in their division this year, right? So maybe we'll look at the Seattle roster when it comes out and say, okay, who might be their William Carlson? Who might be their top line? That kind of thing, right? And so, yeah, um, there's there's a lot to be done there. But my plan right now is simple. Um, I want to do playoff histories of every team. Now, I don't want to do like all the way through because I think that I've already done, there's already historical playlists on this channel of, of the last, of since since the start of the NHL. So I'm going to do some historical stuff as well. I've got some new books in my collection, uh, which are of the Almanac variety, of the historical book variety, that, yes, you can find a lot of information on the internet. You can't find all of it. And so, uh, yeah, the, the, the playoff histories, I'm going to lean towards probably looking at the most recent 20 seasons. I'm saying 20 seasons rather than 20 years, because, of course, you've got that uh, that season that got wiped out in 0405. So probably just look at the last 20 years and I'll probably do it in a in, in some kind of a chart form as well. And it'll be all 31 teams and it'll probably go in a random order uh, rather than going alphabetical with that. Uh, career videos, of course. And so that'll be 31 videos right there. That's likely one, maybe two videos a day uh, looking at that. And then career videos, no idea how many I may end up doing in the off season. That's why there's a question mark. Of course, there's the THG, THG Hall of Fame videos which um, I, I enjoy doing those ones. I, I enjoy that part of it. And uh, so we'll start getting into that too. Uh, and then the Jersey countdown, the massive Jersey countdown. So I'm, I'm not sure where to cut it off. I'm not sure with, with what point do I cut off the, the countdown. And last time I did it, it was 20 jerseys per video. I don't want to do 20 jerseys per video this time. I think I should drop it to 10. And so I've gone through the countdown. Uh, what I did was I made a bunch of mini countdowns. So I just did, here's a list of 34, another list of 34, another list, and just rank them one through 34 because that's easier. And then I took all the lists together and went, all right, this one should be one, this should, and then I did them all one through, not going to say the number, but it's a big number. And now I want to do it again because I, I looked at some of the ones that are further down and said, okay, this is too far down. This one's probably too far up, so... I'll go through and make uh, alterations to that list again, but I'm not sure where to cut off the, the Jersey countdown. I'm putting way more work into figuring out the Jersey countdown than I think people realize. Like there have been days where I've done videos the next morning where I'm really tired because I was up till two o'clock in the morning doing the, doing the countdown and trying to figure it all out, um, hours and hours of it. And then again, now, you know, with the collection here, I have to do two things. One, I have to make sure that it's all, you know, in, in an order that I'm happy with. And two, I then have to go through this entire room, all the jerseys I have in this room, and make sure that all of them are readily available for when I want to do that part of the countdown and that I haven't missed anything either. So that's the other fun part is, so all right, now I've got all these. Did I miss anything? And if the answer is yes... Then I have to figure out where those jerseys match up. Or did I, have I lost any jerseys over the last couple of years? See, the answer to that should be no. Obviously, it's not like we leave the house. It should be no. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to put that whole thing together. And we'll, we'll likely do 10 jerseys per video. And I'm just trying to figure out, like, do I just, just do like a top 50? No. Um, it, it won't just be a top 50, but I'll figure out 
how long that countdown is going to be. Keeping in mind, of course, that when you're doing videos on YouTube and just throwing this out there, if you do playlists and people know their playlists, generally with playlists, they'll get widely viewed at the start. And if you're doing a countdown, that last video will get a lot of views. The ones in the middle, eh, you're going to get your dedicated viewers for those. And that's just a YouTube thing. It's not just on this channel. It happens on other channels as well. In fact, uh, one one piece of advice that I saw from, from YouTube was if you're going to do like a playlist, try to hide in the title the fact that it's part of a list because people may not want to come in during the middle. They may want to watch the start. They may want to watch the ending. They might skip some videos. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, also meetups. So um, we used to have meetups and then everything closed up. So this summer... Uh, it looks it looks good right now. The plan is to have meetups locally here uh, starting in July. Now, for me, of course, part of that is because as long as there's hockey games on, I'm watching them. So I'm not skipping games in the semifinal or the final to go in and have a, a meetup. So this is just going to be street hockey, and we're just going to be having it local. So I'm thinking uh, there's, there's places in Coquitlam. There's places in, in, I know there's a place in Chilliwack we can go to. Uh, that we went to before and and just keep it local uh for now and and it'll be you know reasonable to expect that in july we can have that question i'm having for myself is do i do that every week or every two weeks i've been on the treadmill enough that i could do that every week um the aches and pains that i used to go through with this i played a couple of games of street hockey last last summer and it wasn't a meetup like with with the channel but i had a couple of games of, of street hockey and i wasn't dealing with the aches and pains that i used to so that was encouraging and i'm looking forward to doing that this summer as well and so when we do those when we do those my wife actually will will videotape and I, there's a playlist on the channel of the meetups uh she'll she actually videotapes us out there playing and i start scoring goals when she's not recording usually so there's no video proof of the goals being scored by me um which i i think is part of her plan Oh, look, he's on a breakaway. Oh, I ran out of room on my phone. Did that go in? Oh, shucks. Oh, no, no, I fixed it. So, yeah. Um, anyways, that's that's the decision I'm trying to make is whether to have them one or two weeks apart. And then the interesting thing, too, is because we have a shortened period of time between the end of the season, which is July, around mid-July, and the start of the following season, which is around mid-October. So you've got August, September, October. So it's a lot shorter period of time in between. And remember, there's still going to be a lot of this going on in between too. I'll have to get into the season previews a lot quicker than I normally do. Uh, if the season ends in July, I get into the season previews in, I guess, August. Season previews I usually did in August anyways. Because I like to make a prediction on where I think teams are going to finish. And I like to get my prediction out there before they come out from the hockey news, from anywhere else. So again, so you can see that I'm not influenced by anything outside of um, just my own opinion. And uh, so that's that's important. I also wanted to say, too, the choice of jersey that I wore. For the last year and a half, two years, I've been buying like practice jerseys. I've been buying jerseys that, and you won't see this in the jersey countdown. It's a nice practice jersey, though. But I've been buying them with the idea of going to meetups because I'm I don't want to wear like an Adidas jersey that if I if I fall down and it rips at all, I can't replace it. So I've made sure that I'm I've got jerseys that are that I got for like you know 40, 50 bucks that I can wear to meetups that are still going to look nice. But if something happens and and uh, Jordan wrecks another one of my jerseys, it's okay because you know it's it's a practice jersey or it's one I got for cheap. And so there's, there's been a lot of, lot of, lot of purchases I've had where I get them, and and my wife kind of goes, "Why'd you get that for meetups?" But we're not having those yet, but we will. So I'm, I'm excited about getting back into that. And uh, yeah, the the season previews I'm excited about as well because there's 32 this year instead of 31, and I'll probably go in a random order as well with those. So and and whatever random order I get. For these, I may do a reverse order for these. I try to make sure that I'm not necessarily going just in alphabetical or reverse alphabetical order because what's the fun in that? So yeah, um, I'm I'm excited about it. Uh, the other the other thing that uh, that I want to do this summer is skip the top ten and top twenty lists of, of best defensemen, best centers, best wingers, best goalies. I don't want to do that this summer. Legit. Uh, those videos are usually very hot, highly watched and viewed, but 
they lead to a lot of other arguments and everything else. And I, I, if I can avoid that this summer, I'm going to. I much prefer the fun stuff, the historical stuff. And getting all those historical books means if I wanted to, I could probably do some sort of add-on for my year-by-year -year history of the NHL series. And I, I want to do that at some point too, because obviously not all the information is going to be in that in that playlist. But that playlist actually performs really, really well. Uh, over the last, it's what, three years since I put that list up? It's performed really, really well. So... I have to say that while not any one individual video necessarily performs great, as a playlist, it does very well. So uh, if I can add to that this summer, I'm absolutely going to. And uh, yeah, so there you go. If you're new to the channel, that's what I do during the off season. Uh, a lot of video stuff. Uh, generally during the summer, I'll produce a little bit more videos than I might during the regular season, but I try to kind of kind of balance it all out. But yeah, so it'll be interesting this this summer to see where things are at. And like I said, the channel passing 192,000 subscribers today. I thought, you know what? Things are starting to s slow down a little bit here. Now might be a good time to talk about what you're going to do in the off season. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe as apparently 192,000 people have done. Uh, and hey, thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.